Hey, okay there, I just wanted to, today was the big day, today was the $5 bag sale at the niche, great big kitchen bags, uh, big white kitchen bags full of stuff, and I went, and I wasn't going to buy that much, I'd already cased it out, I knew what I wanted, it wasn't much, I was barely going to fill a bag, <clears throat> and I brought home four bags. The exciting part is, is when I got home, my internet wasn't working did all the reset stuff, did all the restart stuff, and, and nothing. It wasn't working. Bummer. So, couldn't check anything. And then I spent a long time on the phone talking with someone who sounded suspiciously like she was from India. Um, Frontier? No. Bad. Um, nothing against India or against people from India but they act like we're stupid. Okay, I can read the model number on the bottom of my modem. Um, no, it isn't one of the ones that you offer because I don't use your crappy modems because they're crap. So anyway, <clears throat> I think got a nice American girl from down south somewhere and uh, she went through all the same kind of stuff but she was polite. Um, and didn't act like I was stupid. And uh, when it all came down to it, they have to send a tech out tomorrow. So, it'll probably be yesterday by the time you guys watch this video if I get it up. Uh, I double checked. I went up to Best Buy all the way up in freaking Big Flats, New York. And I bought a $257 neck ear modem. Now, granted, you know, I that's a lot more than what I had to spend, but um, I have four laptops that use it, and sometimes they're all on at the same time. Three cell phones, and uh, well, my TV is Wi-Fi, but it, uh, I don't think the Wi-Fi, well, I can't use the Wi-Fi because the uh, the remote doesn't work and that's an issue that has to do with uh, my particular model and I don't want to pay the hundred and some dollars to buy a new piece a new piece to fix it so yeah anyway um, so I had an exciting day today after after all that and uh, it's going on quarter three in the morning and I'm still juiced up I'm, I still have plenty of energy I'm not tired at all um, this losing weight stuff is really cool. Yeah, I mean, it really, I feel a lot better. I have a lot of energy. My knees don't hurt. My ankles don't hurt. The bottom of my, I've been on my feet all day. My feet don't hurt at all. Um, which is not typical. Um, so yeah. So other than that, uh, let's see. Um, I suppose I should get right to my haul and show you the goodies that we bought. So, Oh, without further ado, let's see if we can do just that. I'm going to swing this around here, and I'm going to see if I can show you what we got. We got a stack of Janet Ivana, Ivanovich paperback books, and there's a Debbie McComber in there, another Debbie McComber right there, or however you say her name. Um, and I didn't get to check anything, so I'm not going to say, but I did sell a stack similar to this for $30 not that long ago. So if I get the 30 for those, that'll cover the $20, $20 I spent for everything at the niche today. So, And the Debbie McComber books I'm going to add to another, another lot that I already have listed that hasn't sold. I, they usually do sell though, so I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not worried. Um, well, I wouldn't be worried anyway. I didn't spend much on. That's the the best part about buying, right? This is Victoria Holt, same book. Um, I usually lot her books up. Uh, I think these are gothic. I think they're gothic romance. Uh, but yeah, they take a little while to sell. They're not as gothic romances aren't as popular as they used to be, but they do still sell. Welcome to Tyler. I don't know if any of you are familiar with this series. 
Um, 15 years ago, it sold fantastic. It sold very well. Not so well today, but I'm stuck on it. So I just keep buying them and putting uh, lots together when I get all of them and and I sell them. When I get them for a great, like, you know, $5 a bag for, I spent 20 bucks for, I spent 20 bucks for everything you see plus the big stack of clothes over there that I'm going to show you that I haven't got to yet that I can't fit on here. This is Leah Greenwood uh, cowboy books, I think. For the most part, I think they're cowboy books. Uh, cowboy romance. I have some other ones of hers. They used to sell really good. Not sure anymore. This is Hardy Boys. You familiar with Hardy Boys? Um, they don't sell as well as they used to, I don't think. But I have a bunch of them, so I just picked it up. Took this picture on the lot. This is a an old... Uh, I'm not sure if this has them in it or not. It's a new Basic Readers. But the new ba Basic Readers were... Um, Yep, there he is, Sterl Artley. He lived in Pensdale, Pennsylvania. And these were the Dick and Jane books. This one may not contain Dick and Jane, though. Some of them don't have Dick and Jane. But people still like these. Not as much as they used to, but they're they're nice they're nice readers. They're there's no not too much junk in them. But there's, you know, it's it's kind of simplistic and naive and everything, so. Alright, and we got these uh, utensils. They're like a cheap, seem like a cheap stainless. It just says stainless steel on the bottom. But the... Oh, there goes one. Sorry if I'm bumping you around. Light's not that great. It is 3 in the morning. Um, they are... Bake light handles. So uh, I just grabbed them because, well, why not? And then there was these two knives. They are not bake light handles. Um, pay atten no attention to that five dollars. They're not perfect. That let's see what's out there, but they will sell, and I'll probably get a good price for them. I might just put them at auction. Oh, they are written on too. I can't. They are marked. Hard to read. I can't read it. Uh, that's going to take a little work to figure that out. I don't know, can you read it? I can't. It's going to take a little work to figure that out. So, But I'm figuring, I'll just put them at auction for $9.99. I'll be happy if I get that, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them go for a lot more than that. And this is just an outdoor light. I don't know, I might just take the take the globe off and just sell the globe separately. Uh, I have done that before. I get, you know, 10, 15, 20 bucks for them sometimes. Depends, which is weird because these things aren't that much new. But, there's that. And then I got this. It's a Jim Beam, little Jim Beam barrel. It's like a, two people use them for toothpick holders. I don't know if that's what it is. But that's what uh, I'm going to sell it as. The Jim Beam toothpick holder. And they had a dollar on it. But, of course, it was a $5 bag day, so... What I'll get for that, I have no idea, because I, I didn't look anything up. Alright, sorry about the shadows. And these are just uh, paneled uh, grape. I think these are uh, Indiana glass. Indiana glass. And uh, I have some other ones, so I'm just going to lot, lot those together with the other ones. So, I, ha I, don't, I, don't have, I have three of them that I know of. So, I'm going to just put them with those other three and uh, go from there. And then there's some uh, protective underwear back there. There was two packs. So I crammed them in my bag. And let's see. We got just a little uh, keychain. A little, little holder for your keys. Those are usually good for five or ten bucks. One more. There's another one. Genuine cowhide. Top, top green cowhide, it says. These are iced teaspoons. And you can't see them probably. Let's see if I can get that pattern up there for you. No, not really. It's not really showing very well. 
There are three little stars on there. These are called Americana Star. But most, that's what's in mostly these two packs. Um, I'll call it Atomic Star, and that will change everything. These are Hearthside. Hearthside, uh, hearth yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Hearthside, uh, like canoe muffin. So, I think I have some more of those upstairs. Not many, a couple. And uh, maybe I'll be able to put a, a lot of those together. This was just a cool little plate that it was there. Uh, it says Arizona. And uh, it seems pretty old, so. It seems kind of old. But, I don't know. I, I, I just grabbed it because it looked neat. So, and then I got these resistance tubes because I use them. Um, I didn't get them to sell, although I do I do sell these. This just, I don't really think it's new. So I'll probably end up using those. And then this is a brownie, brownie and uh, junior Girl Scout book. I don't know if it's any good or not. I just picked it up. Uncle Arthur's bedtime stories. Usually pretty good. So we'll see how that one goes. And these are a pair of Lehigh. Yes, I don't know if you can see it. it. Says Lehigh right there. Lehigh. They have the black fibro mark on the bottom. Uh, not where they're still toe. They're not really cow. They look. They look like cow, but they actually look more like Carolinas. But uh, anyway, yeah, they're pretty beat. But I stuck them in the bag because well, they're black boots. Okay, what else we got? We have. Uh, this little game, Contact. This looks like uh, I'm not really sure what how what it is. Just little tri triangle pieces in there. It's probably like like triominoes or something like that. It's probably what it's like. So yep, there's that. And then there's this cool. I'm trying to get out of the way. I don't think I can. I think I keep getting making it worse. It's just a limousine. It's by. Uh, Majorette. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, nobody bought it for two bucks. It, may, it might not be worth anything. I don't know. This thing, I don't know what this is. I just grabbed it because it was in, in the electronics section. Uh, it's got a, a USB and connects with with uh, one, one, of, uh, one of those ends. So it's like I was thinking for a camera, but it says REM dash one C modulator. So it might be like an and this is RF out. So it must be for a game or something is what I'm thinking, but I don't know what. But anyway. So yeah, that's uh see if I can get some different light over here. Yeah. Alright, what else we got? Um I got this uh bubble Oh, who makes that? I forget. I forget who makes that now. Anchor Hockey makes that. Anchor Hockey makes it. It's a bubble bowl. I got some other white ones around. I figured if I could get, I got that's the big one I was looking for. I got like three small ones. If I can get like three more of them, I'm thinking maybe uh, you put them up as a some kind of like a set, maybe a fruit bowl set or something. This is just a um, a Chemon County Airport patch. I thought it was neat, so I grabbed it. Oh, dropped it. Ugh. This is a Grand Union supermarket. It has needles in it. So, I thought maybe it might be an interesting piece of advertising for somebody. Lone Wolf. I used to sell these a lot. I don't know if they're any good anymore, but they used to be pretty good. I used to get like 15 to $20 for these paperbacks each a long time ago. And then I just bought these kids' shoes. These are L.O. Beans. Just they just slip on. Uh, yeah, so I just grabbed them. They're good shape. And I got these because well, frozen. So I don't know. I have to clean them up. I don't know if they'll be even worth it or not. So I didn't look them up. I didn't look anything up. And just a little pair of shoes, baby shoes, little kids' shoes. Some people might use them for dolls. This is an iris, iris and herringbone. I, I doubt you can see the pattern. 
there or not. There's the iris and the herringbone pattern. So, yep, yeah, there's two of those. I don't know if they're any good anymore either. But iris and herringbone is it, it's kind of an older thing. So, I mean, if it was carnival colored, if it, if it was orange, uh, marigold colored, they would be pretty good, I think. But as is, I'm not sure. And then these hooked on phonics. Some of these haven't been, uh, some of the pieces in these things haven't been opened. I didn't look them over real well because it was in a hurry and there was a lot of people at the niche because it was $5 bag day. So I just, I just, uh, st I just, they, I should get probably 40 or $50 out of, out of that, if not more. Maybe less. I don't know for what I paid them good. And then this is, uh, Boyd's Bear. It's, uh, these were called Masters. Masters of Disguise because see it's a little bear but he has this little mask he puts up on here like that uh, and now he's a little pig pretty cool huh yep he's got pointy ears little pig ears on him but it's it's a bear just hiding in the piggy in the pigginess which is pretty cool and then back here is this box of Lionel Lionel train tracks I just took a glimpse that I should be able to sell this stuff I should be able to get probably uh, I saw I think I said what is it? it was this piece I saw and it, I don't know if it was I don't know but there there's probably at least 50 bucks in there in track so we'll see if we'll see how I do with it but I got it so that's all that matters and then I got this Sony Vio laptop, um, power cord. It's probably worth probably worth, that's probably worth twenty bucks. I don't know though. Um, and then it has somebody took the memory out, but I have a Sony Vio very very similar to this that does not fire up, doesn't start. So maybe I can pull the memory out of that and put it in here. And these are a pair of GH Bass & Co. Uh, shoes. They're just, just slip-ons, slip-on loafers. They're, you know, pretty good, pretty decent shape. I mean, they've been used and they've been worn. But still, I grabbed them because they look pretty decent. And then I just grabbed some, some brass stuff, a little candle snuffer. And these just, uh, for hanging on the wall. They're just, they're, they're solid brass. I mean, I can't, you know, you can't really beat the price. You know, $5 a bag. And, I mean, scrap metal alone, I, I can, I can sell them. But they, I'll bet you they'll, I'll bet you they'll sell that pair. I don't know for sure. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to list them, I think, at twenty nine ninety nine and see what happens. So, and then I got these, these four, four, uh, four more candle holders. I'm going to. I think I have some more that I already have listed. If I don't, there's more down. There's more where there's more that should be listed, unless somehow the listing fell off. So I'll probably uh, I'll probably just change that listing and include those in it. Then I get this old this Nike it's a snapback. Um, it's got a little a little soil right there by the end. There, see that. And I don't know if it, I don't know if it's any good or not, but it's a Nike True. I don't know what that means. So I just grabbed it. And then you can see down there that spindly thing. That's a 45 RP, RPM record holder. It's just a, an old gold tone holder. Mastermind game. I don't know if that's any good. And then I just bought these DVDs. They give you, they let you get three DVDs. So I grabbed some three DVDs. Uh, Jonathan Creek, BBC. Don't know what's any good. Don't even know what it's about. Don't know if it's still on. Caprica season one. I don't. Did I watch? Cap I didn't watch Caprica. I don't think I liked it. And then Dexter season two. Again, five bucks a bag, so I got those. I just got those three. I don't know if I'll be able to get anything for them or not. So, and then uh, we got Hillary Clinton. Takes a village. Don't know if it's any good. 
and then Mickey, there's a Mickey Spillane audiobook, and I don't know how to say that lady's name. Spencer's her last name. La Laverel. Anyway, yeah. And then a Nora Roberts audiobook. Those are cassettes. And then I got these. These are all uh, PS. I'm pretty sure they're all PS1. They just say PlayStation. They don't say anything else on them. I just grabbed the whole stack, and then there was a. I don't know if you, if you can get to see them, did you? Yep. There's a Fugio Grind Session Jet Moto 2 Real Fishing Powerboat Street Skater Moto Racer Fugio Jet Moto Tomb Raider 3 what the heck is that? 200? 100? Need for Speed 3. Test Drive Off-Road 2. Uh, wakeboarding. Something trick wakeboarding. NFL Game Day 98. WWF In Your House. Razor Freestyle Scooter Supercross 2000 Need for Speed High Stakes So, I don't know if they'll go. I saw there was a... I did see there was a a lot of of them that sold for like 16 bucks or something. I didn't look too hard. I just... I hit that. I let that go then. Alright, and we got... Oh! We got... Those are uh, audiobooks. Those are on... C these are all CD audiobooks. Jane Green, Kate Atkinson, Ellen Hildebrand, Between Assassinations, The Future of Us, and uh, James Patterson, Guilty Wives. Alright, and then the last of these hard ones, we got some Donna Dewberry, uh, One Stroke, Never Opened, VHS tapes, and they don't sell for much, but I grabbed them. I think I have another one up, so I'll just lot them together and sell them that way. And then a bunch of exercise tapes. Some of them are good. I don't know about these ones, but some of these are good. So sometimes Richard Simmons, I think if I uh, lot them with some other ones I have somewhere. I'm not sure where. And then there's uh, Sing Along Songs VHS. It's Under the Sea. So I'm hoping the Little Mermaid's got some power there. And then the Land Before Time, I got that because I put up a lot of Land Before Time movies and I didn't have number one, so I grabbed that one. Okay, so that is all I have of, get you a look around my house there, of my, uh, that's all I have of the, I guess you would call it hard goods or housewares or entertainment junk stuff I don't know so anyway yeah um, and then I'll try to oh I'm upside down why does that got me upside down guys there we go now it fixed me oh it doesn't know what to do with me well you don't need to look at me anyway I bought this pair of pants this pair of shorts okay they are micro micro gear micro gear I got them because they're cargo pants and they have like 10 pockets, 9 or 10 pockets. So I thought maybe that might be a good thing. Alright, uh, this is just a pair of the Pearl, oh it's a, ja it's a jacket, it's a Pearl, I, I think it's Pearl Izumi. I noticed when I was looking at bike stuff that that seemed to be a pretty good name. It's just a jacket. This is a horrible Horrible lighting. Horrible. Oh, I don't like this at all. And I don't know if I can fix it for you. Is that any better? No, nope, that's just as dark. Well, this is pathetic. Alright. Well, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to put it up like this. There's that. Let's see if this does any better over here. Try it. 
Go right this way. Just a. This is a. Uh, just says ultra club. It's just a cool. It's just a one of those quick dry shirts. One of those dry fit shirts. It's for a, a 10k race. I got it mostly probably because I up, I got some other other ones. It still is new with tags. So. Oh uh, yeah, there was that. And then here's a. This one's a Pearl Izumi. It says Revolution. I don't know if you've seen that. You could look it look it up. Uh, Pearl Izumi. Um, this one's a extra small, so that ain't never gonna fit me. Not, no matter how much weight I lose, that ain't gonna fit. All right, and these just if yeah, this is a pair of of uh, exercise workout wear um, Danskin Danskin now uh, I grabbed a bunch of Danskin stuff because I guess that stuff ain't as good as it used to be but um, I figured if I lotted it up and the price was right so okay it's all gonna be closed now just in case let's see we got a pair another pair of Danskin now these are uh, like black, I don't want to call them capris, they're short, but they're, they're extra, they're, they're not the bicycle stuff, so they're thick though, they're kind of thick. I don't know if that's a special thing or not, y'all can tell me if you know, I won't mind. And then just another, just another pair of black, pink, pink inside, and these are, it says fitted damp dance canal. Yep. Just another pair. See, these are smaller, though, so I can't, I can't really lock them together. They're the wrong sizes. Yeah, okay, and then, uh, somebody, somebody did a video that had these old, these old jogging suits. I don't know if I can get this where you can see it well or not. I don't know if you can see that well or not, but it's really color. It's a, like a, it's very colorful and bright. Um, got the pants with it. I don't know the name. It's, uh, let's see if I can show you here. Boku. Yeah, Boku. B-O-C-O-O. -O. Um, so, those are supposed, supposed to be good, so we'll see. And then, next, I do have some I got a lot of I got a lot of exercise wear, so that's another pair of pants. That's that's it. I'm just gonna stay over here and show you these. These are Adidas. And let's see how well this works out. It's another pair of Adidas. Exercise exercise pants. And I got another pair of Danskin exercise pants. And another one of these uh, Pearl Izumi shirts. And this is uh, Victoria's Secret. I don't know if it's just a half a nightgown or a whole nightgown. A short one. But I guess I'm going to... Oh, girl. Yeah, that would be, that'd be Victoria's Secret. Wouldn't be much secret, though. Okay, and then these, this, these are just Kellogg's that you got Tony the Tiger on them. I'll show them to you. Get up a little closer and you can see Tony. Not that y'all ain't seen Tony before, but there's Tony. And it says Kellogg's. You can see it there, so... I grabbed those. I don't know. They, I, I hope they're not... They should be pajamas. They might not be. They might be exercise wear. Or something. I don't know. And then there's this was uh, another this was another set. It said simply Vera. I don't know if they're pajamas, but I think that's simply Vera. That's supposed to be Vera Wang, isn't it? So I grabbed it real quick. Yeah, there's I'm probably not gonna sell it because it's got a little a little pink mark on it. But then there's the pants for it. And then this is a real silky feeling kind of, uh, you won't call it paisley, but it's a Victoria's Secret. 
it's a, I guess it's a open nightgown, is that what it would be? This is a uh, Chico shirt, it's new with tags, um, of course pre-owned. I saw that on, uh, uh, I was watching Jay and Nay, and I, I don't know if Nay mentioned it or if somebody else mentioned it to Nay, a guest or something they had, but I remember it. And this is a, it's, is it, well, the company is just, is Zorel, Z-O-R-R-E-L. That's a medium. I may keep that one and use that when it gets a little chillier this year. Uh, just a long sleeve shirt. It's a little chillier this year when I'm riding my bike. That might be nice. This is a kid's thing. It's a fish, like a fishing vest. It says Backyard Safari Adventures. I've I seen they got the, they got like toys out and stuff for these. I, I sold a little fanny pack. You might remember if you saw one of my other videos, Backyard Safari Adventures. But if yep, I grabbed that, I thought, well, that's neat. Some, some kid will want that. So someone will want it for him or dad or somebody. And then I got, this is a, it's a Patagonia t-shirt. I've heard the name Patagonia before. I don't know that much about them. It's got a, it says live, simp live simply. It's got a, it's got a car with a tree growing up through the hood. Where the engine used to be. This is a, now, I don't know if anybody's still watching. It's Bob Mackey. Now, I remember that name from somewhere. I don't know if you can see that, that design on there. It's a Bob Mackie wearable art. And I thought that was kind of southwestern looking, didn't you? I don't know. Tell, you can tell me. It's a real heavy, heavy material. It doesn't really say what it is unless there's somewhere made in China, though, so it's... I don't know, just real thick. And then this last, this is the very last thing. This is a gigantic, gigantic Rams shirt. It is a size 3XL. This thing is huge. Let's see if I can. Okay. Here's me. Here's this shirt. It's massive. So I just I thought, well, that's something I gotta try to get. I got, I think I got it dirty while I was out today. So yeah, I hope that's just that. But anyway, I, mean, I can't really lose money. I, Twenty bucks for all this stuff. Twenty dollars for everything. So that's everything we got that I got. So I don't really see how I could lose money on it, though. Do you? No, I mean, I'm sorry about that. Sticking my hand in your face. Oh. Um, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know how I made out. Um, you think I'll make any money? You think I'm wasting my time? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah. So, if you like these videos, I, I appreciate your subscriptions. I'm over 300, and I'm amazed that there's 300 people over there that thought enough of my of my videos to subscribe so that's that is pretty cool and I notice I'm getting a few more dislikes now so there's some more people coming in hey at least they're watching you know at least they're watching the, you know and I don't know maybe they don't like it because I'm boring or something or, or whatever it's, maybe they don't I don't know what it is but maybe they'll learn something they can use um, or not use uh, so yeah um, I appreciate people talking to me I try to answer everybody and uh, so hit the like button if you like the video and uh, subscribe if, if, if you want to keep seeing me show up in your in your search results and uh, I guess that's it um, I tell you to keep listening but I can't because my internet's down so still well I could use my phone I guess but it's 20 after 3 and I'm getting a, just a bit tired so maybe I'll clean this mess up and it'll be about four by then and maybe I'll be able to go to sleep for a little bit so all right well you have a good night day morning a
good life, a good week, and uh, keep listening, and I'll try to as well. So, all right, good night.